Good day, good day! How the hunk are you? Welcome to Roverland. We have got an exciting, expensive one of Wednesday for you. Yeah! Scale electrics. Electric. Yeah, scale electric. Yeah, there it is. I have got for you a Range Rover scale electric. And uh, wow, this is a beauty. Interesting story about this. Uh, I bought this or got this from uh, a company, a model uh, toy store out of uh, Milwaukee. I think they're still there, uh, Model Empire. Um, back in the day, um, yeah, to tell you the truth, I got divorced. <laughs> So I moved all my stuff out, and I had quite a few uh, uh, things. And um, at that point, I really was trying to eliminate all the uh, odd toys and things that I had picked up, uh, models and stuff like that. And, uh, well, anyway, I put them in a uh, bunch of banana boxes. We went down to Model Expire, uh, Empire, excuse me, and I traded him uh, all this stuff. And I don't even know if he would do this today. So don't go down there and tell him your friend Dano uh, <laughs> sent you with it. But anyway, we made a deal. I was pretty happy with all the stuff. I took everything and anything he had in the store that was Land Rover related. And uh, he took all my, my oddball stuff. But anyway, one of the things was is he um uh, i think he's a distributor or he has quite a few um of these uh scale tricks uh scale trick uh, models and i was going to and he's got a set uh, a track that was set up in the shop and i bought this and i said hey if i buy this or i take this uh can we uh put it on the track and try it you know and he's like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you know what? I got so excited leaving with everything and everything that I got. We never did take this out of the package and uh, try it on the track. So this is brand new, never been tested. Uh, just a beautiful model. I'm really excited. This uh, this retail $47.99 back in the day. But, uh, yeah, these things... Uh, I looked on eBay. There was a used one for twenty bucks uh, out in California, uh, silver one. This is a black one. I saw that there was a Coast Guard one that was listed over in in the UK, and they wanted like oh my goodness, like two hundred bucks or something like that. But yeah, this is a nice little carrying case or a case, a display case. Uh, you see that you can just uh, unscrew it from the base. I see it's probably more brushes and stuff pickups that you can use uh, to uh, you know run it around the track uh, just a beautiful beautiful display but this is a one on Wednesday I forgot to tell you hey welcome to a one on Wednesday this is the one and only scale trick that I have and uh, boy she is a beauty she is a beauty uh, there it is C2, nah, C2878 Range Rover Black, uh, official license the, uh, from Land Rover. Very beautiful, very beautiful. Gets you some details here that you can look at. Uh, super resilient, easy change pickups, uh, four wheel drive, working headlights, working sirens and hood lights, uh, digital chip installed. What else they got? 360 glide blades. And yeah, just a whole working rear lights. Annex effect headlights. Weathered. Yeah, digital plug-in ready. And I don't know what that mag Magnatrax system. Yeah, so anyway. And uh, so anyway, yeah. So here we go. A little history on... Uh, Scale Trick, uh, it is owned and operated by Hornby. Uh, now, this is Hornby America, but it is a um, English. Yes. Uh, started back in uh, the late 50s 
1957, and uh, inventor by B. Freddie Francis. And uh, yeah, they he was uh, owned a firm called um, what was it? Mini Models. Yeah, established in 1947, which is kind of funny because Land Rover's 19. 19- 48 is when they started so <laughs> but they started out making tin toys and things like that back then and uh but eventually uh he sold out to uh there was a slight decline in stuff and he sold out now before it was called scale trick uh it was scale x introduced in 1952 and after that then that's when he uh sold out to um, uh, Hornaby, uh, Hornby at that time, I believe. But anyway, so in, uh, yeah, 56, there was a slight uh, dip in the sales and stuff. And uh, popularity, there's a dude in there. Did you know that there was a dude in there? We got to see if we can zoom in on this dude. Yeah, check this dude out. Now, they do have a James Bond one like this, too. I did see that. A James Bond one, but this, I don't believe this is James Bond. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it is. I don't know. It doesn't say anything. I'm sure I'd have to pay more for it if it was a James Bond. You know, you got to pay for the royalties there. But, uh, yeah. We are really not getting focused in on that guy. We are not, we are not at all. Let's see if we can focus in a little bit on him. Oh, yeah. We are having fun with the camera crew today. All right, yeah. He don't have a mustache. I don't know why I think he needs a mustache, but... uh, And he has not got hands at 10 and 2. Nope, that's not good. So, yeah, we're going to have to be careful when we run this guy. Anyway, so back to the history. So, uh, eventually in the 60s, they moved to plastic and uh, then really got got into... But uh, Freddy there was trying to introduce and try to uh, uh, get more uh, interest in his toys and stuff. And that's where he came up with the, uh, really come up with the slot car play sets with the track and the cars, you know, not just putting, uh, and he came up with an uh, innovative uh, gimbal system that helped pick up um uh, the, uh, the electricity to, to run these cars and stuff. There you can see that uh, you can hit that website up. Uh, I don't know if we can get the... Why can't we see that? There we go. Yeah. So check it out. They've got quite a variety of stuff. I believe this is a 132nd scale. And it's just a beauty. A beauty. I'd really like to get it going. But I, I think I'd have to go all the way to Milwaukee, like I said, to uh, get... Uh, a track that I could rent uh, and uh, try this bugger out, but I don't know what that does to the resale value. <laughs> of course, who who thinks that I'm going to sell something again? You know, <laughs> so yeah, right. Oh man, that's how do you get that out? There's something in there. I don't think I can get that out of there, but uh, yeah, there's a little uh, advertisement in there. Hold on, folks. We're going to try to get this bugger out. See what else kind of goodies we got in here. All right, look at that. Hey, we're finding treasures in here. Hey, join the club. 50 years. Get a picture of a nice GT40. Oh, look at this and receive an exclusive Ford GT40. Wow. I wonder if I can still join this club and get that car. Yeah, that is pretty neat. Yeah. This is kind of like when you buy an old uh, uh, comic book and, you know, they had all them goofy things in there, you know, the sea monkeys and, you know, wacky rings to shock people. (laughs) Oh, cheese balls. But anyway, well, that's kind of neat. You can uh, join the club. Yeah. All right. We got to sneak that back in there. Put that back in there. All right. Way to go, Indy. Indiana Jones trying to find a treasure map and all you got is a old advertisement that you can't uh, redeem anyway huh all right well that's kind of neat well there you go uh let's uh call it a video on a one-off wednesday 
Yeah, scale trick and uh, Range Rover. Very nice, beautiful thing. Do you got one of these? Go ahead and comment down below. Hey, come on over to Facebook, but first, share and subscribe. Yeah, we're getting up there just on the brink of 200 subs subscribers at the time of this video. So uh, check that out. Uh, join me on Facebook. We're almost 150 members on the Roverland Facebook page. And Instagram. Yeah, follow me over there on Instagram at Roverland Channel. All right, that's going to be it for today. As always, remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.